and let's talk about your feeling here, uh, here in Priana. Is it the first time that you have some more time in Lithuania? This is uh, actually the first time I had to spend more time in Lithuania. First time I only stayed in uh, Klaipeda for five or six days in a, in a youth tournament. Um, so far it's nice, as I said, uh, a lot of things remind me of, of, of home, uh, the people, the uh, even even food is uh, similar, there is a lot of stuff uh, that, are, that are remind me of, of, of Serbia, so uh, I like it so far, obviously it's a little bit colder than, uh, than I'm used to, like, you know, th this kind of weather in, in August or September, I haven't been uh, around that so much, but uh, so far I like it. Okay, and uh, maybe you have some Lithuanian players that you know already. Yeah, so I, I, last year I played with uh, Amantas uh, Benjus. Uh, in, in Dina Masasari, so we kind of lived in the same building, uh, spent uh, quite a lot of time together during the year. Um, I did get hurt early in the season, so I didn't play uh, for so long with him, but, but I spent, spent, spent some time with him throughout the year. And also, uh, in my first year in, in, in Italy, I played uh, for a few months with uh, Tautvidas Lideka. So I, I, have, I have some, I had Lithuanian teammates before. Yeah, and uh, you've moved to US kind of early in yeah. your life, 18, 19 years Yeah, old. almost 18, I was yeah, so, almost 18. So, yeah. Uh, so, w what was that experience about? Th did you enjoy it all? Yeah, you know, that experience in the US was, was definitely, you know, good, but at the same time, was a lot of hard moments, you know, moving, uh, you know, before my 18th birthday, so far from my family, where, um, you know, it's a different culture, different language. Uh, luckily, in my first year, I had uh, three or four Serbian teammates in my high school, so that made the transition really easy. But even after moving to college, uh, I went to San Diego first, which is really, really far away from, from, from Europe, from Serbia. And, uh, you know, throughout the time, I, I, I definitely had really good moments, but were also really some, you know, hard moments, just being far away from your family and friends, you know, the, and places you grew up in. And later on, you've played in Belgrade, and yeah. uh, we all know about its culture, basketball culture, yeah. and fans and stuff, and moving, movings about, about basketball. And how do you remember these years, like being like kinda young, in the one of the biggest organizations in Serbia and yeah in so the... before I went to, to America I, I spent a year in a, in the youth teams of, of partisan and uh, then my dream was always after I finished playing to 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 go back and uh, to try to play you know and, and and there was a chance right after I finished college um, to, to finish the season with with partisan I, I went there had some really good memories I had a really good debut and uh, you know some experiences. I was I was there for only two two and a half months, but I learned I learned so much about uh, about the club, about um, you know playing at that high level, working with a great coach, great teammates. So really, really experienced that. Um, I'm glad that I had a chance uh, you know to have. And what about fans? Is was that was that? Yeah, I mean the, the, the yeah the fans are amazing. You know I I grew up you know being part of those fans, going to watch yearly games as I could remember. Um, you know, 10, 15 years ago, I, I was going, you know, I was one of those fans. And then when you have a chance to be on the court and, you know, that feeling when you go out on a warm up and the, 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 the stands are already packed and they're singing, it, it's like feelings that, that I'm so glad that I, I had a chance to experience, you know, other than everything else, you know, in my career, this was probably some times that I was feeling really, really good. and. Um, I'm really grateful for that. Let's go back to Serbia. And how is it Serbia right now? Is it is the basketball still number one sport? Or yeah, so? for sure. I think it, it always will be. You know, like uh, of course there is a really a lot of uh, f football is popular as well. You know, it's not like uh, I think in Lithuania you guys are more like basketball is number one by far. Over there, football is definitely not at a great level, but people still uh, watch it. So, uh, but I think basketball is always going to be. Uh, the most successful sport, um, speaking of those like uh, more popular sports, uh, because um, I think just genetically people are a li little taller over there. They there is a history of basketball. There are good coaches, which I think that's uh, one of the you know important factors is that you always have good coaches that are able to to produce these players. So uh, yeah, basketball is still uh, the most popular sport and the sport that we have the most success in. Mm -hmm.